Hi, welcome to my channel Coding Skills. In this video, I am going to tell you what is Anagram along with some examples. I will also show you how we can implement the same in Java programming using three different approaches. A small request from my side is please watch the video till the end so that you will not miss anything. So let's get into the details. What is Anagram? If two strings contain the same set of characters but in the different order, then they are classified as anagram. We can use any of the following three different approaches to check the strings are anagram or not. The first approach is using arrays and the second approach is using collections and the last approach is using char array. Following are the few examples of the anagram strings. If we take a look at the strings listen and silent, though they are two different strings but technically the characters which are present in both the strings are same set of characters as can be seen new java class and naming the file accordingly also choosing public static void main method removing to do statement importing scanner object from the util package in order to read some data from the keyboard creating a scanner object and mapping it to input stream printing a message on the console requesting the user to enter a string 1 declaring a string variable str1 sc dot next line printing another message on the console requesting the user to enter a string 2 declaring another variable str2 sc dot next line str1 equal to str1 dot replace all backslash yes with empty so this is going to remove all the spaces in between the string and we are converting into to lower case same way we are also doing it for string 2 str2 equal to str2 dot replace all backslash and also converting into to lower so we are removing empty spaces in both the strings creating a public static method which returns boolean value and name of the method is is anagram this method is going to take both the string values as the input. So we are going to call this method within the main method. If is anagram and we will pass the both the strings. If that returns true, so we are going to print a message on the console that both the strings are anagram so here I am formatting the message for the better readability so str1 and s2 to our anagrams else those are not anagrams So this is the first approach what we are right now looking at using arrays. We are going to import arrays from the util package. If str1 dot length not equal to str2 length so if the lengths of the both the strings are not equal then straight away we are returning the false else so creating a character array str1 array 
so str1 dot to char array the same way for str2 array equal to str2 to char array so we are converting both the string objects into character arrays arrays dot sort we are trying to sort the characters inside that particular array str1 array the same way we will also sort the str2 array once we are done with the sorting we will compare the values return arrays dot equals str1 array and str2 array if the values are going to equal then it is going to return true else it is going to return false we are almost done with it executing the program Entering string one, hello, string two, hi. Both are not anagram strings. Executing again. L O T T O L. The characters are same as can be seen. Hence, these are anagram strings. Executing again for the next iteration. A B C D. C D A B. These are also anagram strings. Instead of creating a new Java class, I am using the same Java class to demonstrate the second approach. Copying the first approach and also commenting the first approach. So updating the comment approach to using collections. So we will remove the copied logic and we will update the logic. Importing required classes from the util package so I have imported both map and hash map from the util package creating a map object str1 map equal to new hash map which is of type the character and integer key is a character and the value is integer creating one more map object for str2 map with the same declaration character ch for int i equal to 0 i less than str1 dot length i plus plus ch equal to str1 dot caret of i this is going to give us a corresponding character if str1 map dot get of ch equal to null that means if this character is not available in the map then we are assuming that this is the first occurrence so we are going to place this particular character inside a map with the value as 1 else we are going to place the same character inside the map by updating the counter value plus one so we can see that the occurrence is going to be updated same way we are going to do it for the str2 str2 dot line then c h equal to str2 dot caret str2 map 
and updating all in all the required places once we are done with this both the for loops we will see the map objects filled with number of occurrences for each character for each string so written str1 map dot equals str2 map so if both are equal then it's going to give us a true or otherwise it is going to give us a false executing the program entering the first string java oracle so both the strings are not anagram executing again for the next iteration A, B, C, D, A, D, B, C. So both are anagrams. In the same Java class to demonstrate the third approach. Copying the first approach. Pasting here will make the required changes also commenting the second approach on comment in the copied method approach 3 using car array removing the logic which is not required not needed and if condition still having the same check if str1 dot length not equal to str2 dot length we are going to return the false value else proceeding with the remaining logic char array str1 array equal to str1 dot 2 char array using a for each loop here for char ch str1 array if str2 dot index of ch that means the character is available in the second string so we are comparing with the minus one that means if the character is not available then we are returning false else if the character is available we are going to remove that character from the str2 using a substring method str2 equal to str2 dot substring of starting position is 0 comma str2 dot index of character plus str2 dot substring of str2 dot index of character plus 1 because we need to cut from the next character the next parameter is str2 dot length so declaring a integer variable to hold the index because we are repeating the index method lot of times so str2 dot index of ch storing in a variable so we will use this variable in all these places so execute in the program 
entering first string second string join try not anagrams army and mary both are anagram strings as can be seen if you are having any questions related to this video please drop me a comment so that i can respond to it also if you are looking for any specific program please do let me know so that i can plan for it in my upcoming videos please like the video in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you so much once again and see you in the next video